Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to clean a leather jacket at home. This will be an easy tutorial for stain removal, so let's get right into the video. Now before you clean your leather jacket using this method or any method that you find anywhere, you should always read the wash and care label first. There's gonna be a label somewhere on the jacket that will allow you to know what you should and should not do with the jacket material and what you can and cannot do with the jacket material. So just be sure to read that label and make sure that if you're gonna try this method out that everything that I'm telling you about, um, you can do. Now for the most part, this method is very simple. All that, we are, all that we are using is just a touch of dish soap and some warm water and a soft microfiber cloth. So that's all that we're using. So, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty easy on most materials, but always be sure to look at the wash and care label to understand what you can and cannot do with the jacket. Now here is, <coughs> I apologize about that. Here is one of my wife's leather jackets. Um, I just found it in the closet over here and I'm gonna show you how to remove a, a stain or any mark, uh, any mark on the jacket at all. I used this in the past to remove a coffee stain on my own leather jacket. I've since gotten rid of that leather jacket so I can't use it for video demonstrations anymore. But uh, you know, this I've used this method once, it works well, and I'm sure if you have more aggressive stains, it will work as it will work well as well. You just probably have to scrub a bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a very simple solution of water and just a little bit of dish soap. I, I can't every time I'm tilting the bowl, the water is moving to the front, so you can't really see it. But in here, there's just water and some dish soap. Like I literally put uh, about half of this is filled with water. Okay, I don't know how many milliliters. I'm not sure, I can't even estimate. And then like a drop of Dawn dish soap, but any dish soap will work well, okay? Then you want a microfiber cloth because they're nice and soft. This is a nice microfiber cloth. We I bought a big, big, big box of these of many years ago. I think it came with like 50 of them. So we use them until they go bad and we kind of just toss them out. We dispose of them over time. Um, I think the box of 50 were coming towards the end of it, but it's lasted us like maybe five years. So these things are invaluable. I use them all the time, any, any type of microfiber cloth. I'm gonna dip the cloth in the sol solution of warm water and a touch of dish soap, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrub out the imaginary stain. Now, you don't wanna scrub aggressively, right? It's a soft cloth. You just wanna rub on the stained area like this, just like that, okay? Just like that. Very, very simple. Just rub on the stained area and it will start to come out, okay? So yeah, I mean, with, with, with regards to leather, there's no real need to scrub it aggressively because of the type of material that it is. You can scrub it easily. You wanna go softly with your soft microfiber cloth and we're just using a warm water and dish soap mixture with just a touch of dish soap. You can see I'm barely getting any suds at all, just a touch of dish soap. What we're gonna do next is we are going to, uh, once the stain is gone and you're satisfied with the results, you're gonna just get water and I like to use just another side of the cloth. So I'm just gonna get water. I have a faucet over here. This is my basement kitchen, so I have a faucet, some running water over here. I just gonna, I'm just gonna get some water and I'm gonna rub that area, that same area with just water. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna remove the soapy mixture from it and it's just gonna be water. I flipped the cloth over. I'm using the other side of the cloth now with the same water side, okay? So now I've gotten rid of all of the soap and the last thing that you wanna do is you wanna dry leather. Um, I mean, that's my opinion. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but you have another part of your cloth that's probably gonna be dry still without any mixture on it. So take your dry part of your cloth and then just rub that area and that's gonna dry off the leather material. And what you're gonna be left with is some nice clean leather that is stain free. So if you have a stain on the leather, if you have any marking on the leather that is not permanently there, but it's temporarily, there's something like a stain and you wanna remove it, uh, maybe you spilled some food on it, maybe you spilled a drink on it, maybe you spilled coffee like myself, uh, toothpaste, anything really. You wanna, you, you can use this method, um, like I said, but make sure to look at the wash and care label on your leather jacket or, or any leather material of whatever it is. Um, whatever, whatever the whatever the the thing is that is made from le the leather material, you want to look at the wash and care label and make sure that it says you are allowed to do that. And it's okay to do that. But like I said, it's just warm water, a touch of dish soap, and then a very soft microfiber cloth. This is all pretty simplistic stuff. It's kind of hard to go wrong with this, but always be sure check out that wash and care label on it and make sure you're allowed to use all this stuff on it. 
okay? Maybe it's gonna recommend cold water instead of warm water. Like there are things that might change slightly. So look at that label just to make sure. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.